when we are more coordinated, more regulated in our effort to deliver what we're feeling, to deliver our message, to ask a question, to know how to turn away from something when it's time to take a pause. In order to do that, we have to have the capacity to join together our healthiest, best part of ourselves, right? That whole executive part of the brain that can think and rationalize and be wise and nurturing and loving and, you know, to ourselves, forgiving, maybe to ourselves and others. But it's that, it's that good mama, that good papa part up here that joined with our most vulnerable self. So when I think of regulation at its best, it's like there's this beautiful union between your healthy adult you and that little you which is so lovely lovingly embracing right and the the bigger person is looking out for the little person making it safe making it comfortable making it okay in other words you don't have to do the work you don't have to do anything except be your precious little self and i will look out for you we can play we can laugh you can cry and i will comfort you but when it comes to the big feelings and the big jobs and the big tasks i'm going to take care of that for you i'm going to stand up for you i will be a voice for you and i will do that without frightening you misrepresenting you i want you to be heard so i'm going to do it in the the calmest but most credible resolute way right here's this relationship between the two of you and you feel it in your body by using mindfulness strategies breath work strategies stress relieving strategies all the things that we've done in this community before right little pressure on the chest little tapping yoga take a brisk walk whatever it is that sort of gets your nervous system to feel to feel that sense of peace enough so that you can talk about the frustrations that live inside of you. In other words, your body almost has to be somewhat mismatched because when it's dysregulated, there's like all kinds of things pumping and the memory is, you see it like this, like the body's delivering all this energy and the brain is going, oh, what does that mean? What does that mean? What does that mean? All the flashbacks to memories that you're not even really remembering, but a part of you is. And then all the reactivity that comes from that, I'll never take this again. I'll show you and I'm fed up. It's all legitimate. <laughs> it's all reasonable to feel the frustration, to feel fed up, to feel like this is just too much. This is unbearable. It's true. You're living with a narcissist. It's just true. But then you have to sit back and go, yep, yeah, it's all true. And I've got to find a way to help my body deal with all this negative, toxic emotion, this flow of energy, these memories that are coming out of, you know, my past, perhaps, my reactions and impulses to act on this. I've got to slow it all down, slow it down and catch my breath. And you know how they say, take a deep breath. I always say, take a deep exhale. I always feel like the deeper you exhale, the greater the opportunity to get a sensation of peace than inhale. Try that with me until you have to take a breath because you just have to take a breath, right? You can't, you can't exhale anymore. There's nothing else to come out. It's out and now inhale. Okay, right? I feel a little steadier. So deep exhale, take a sharp breath, rest, slow it down. What is it I want you to know? What is it I want you to know. I want you to know that I have so much frustration and sadness inside of me right now that I feel like I almost can't contain that I know that if I allow myself to go there it will be so disruptive to you, to me, to us. And so the wisest part of me knows that the best thing to do right now is to go for a walk and try to come back to this later. And that's what you say. As a what? As a narrator of your experience. This is the healthy you speaking on behalf of this little you who's really shaken up, really, really, really shaken up. It's more than just the frustration of an adult going, oh, I forgot my keys. It's big, it's intense, and it's creeping into the little you who's now very stirred up and upset. So first we regulate 
the body, right? We slow it down and we look for what is my message? What is it I'm trying to say? And then we deliver that message and then we follow through. Ooh, despite that instinct to want to get the last word in when the narcissist says, oh, well, aren't you just so in control of things? Or aren't you just the epitome of, you know, like perfection? Is your therapist teaching you that? You just <laughs> want to let them have it, right? Because you can feel yourself getting dysregulated again. Your body's starting to because your brain is telling you, you know, like he's getting one over on me again. I will not be played the fool. I will not be played the fool. And then you have to remember that there's somebody over here watching. How do we make it safe for you? Because you're just really, it's just hurts so bad, doesn't it? Yeah, that hurts when you say that, but I'm gonna go for my walk now. And you keep going. You're just telling the truth. You don't need all this noise out here because that's like just, oh, that's the sweet stuff for the narcissist. That's the bait. That's the dance. And you're going to fall into that trap every now and then. You're going to need to kind of climb out again, dust yourself off and start over until you can get into a smoother track where this becomes the new normal for you. It is doable. A lot of practice, a lot of rehearsal.